Today on TBC, a new Transformers movie is on the way. We'll talk about it today. And start the countdown, 100 days until the Summer Olympics. How the City of Lights is preparing today on the Brave Club. What's up, Warriors? Welcome to the Brave Club. I'm Gia. And I'm TJ. We're here with your co host, Campbell and Tylon. Hey, guys. Hey. What are you guys doing this weekend? Movie. Um, I don't know. Oh, nothing. I think I might go be going to the movies or the mall or something. Mm -hmm. I want to know. That's so boring. I want to do something. All right. There's nothing to do with Sanford. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Before we move on, let's take a look at the weather. So there's this upcoming animated film called Transformers 1. It's actually an origin story for the franchise set on Cybertron. It's all about Opt Optimus Prime and Megatron who start off as friends but become enemies. The first trailer just dropped and it's action packed. There's, they show how these iconic tra characters learn how to use their powers and transform into shiny cars. The film is set to release this September and fans have been eagerly waiting for this trailer. The lead stars, Chris Hemsworth and Brian Tyree Henry, even made a video to announce it. They're really excited about it and even joked about it, launching it in space. It's going to be out of this world. The trailer is live now and we get to see the first official images of the film. Alongside Hemsworth and Henry, it also features the voices of Scarlett, Scarlett Johansson, Keegan-Michael Key, John Hamm, Lauren, Lawrence Fishburne, and Steve Buscemi. The film, the film is directed by John, Josh Cooley, who previously directed Toy Story 4. Can't wait to see how epic this transform story unfolds on the big screen. Is anyone going to watch it? Yeah. Probably not. I kind of like Transformers. <laughs> I probably will. will. With my sister or something. My brother might take me. But let's see what's her lifestyle, Jim. Start the countdown clock. In exactly 100 days, more than 10,000 athletes and tens of thousands of spectators will converge on Paris for the start of the 33rd Summer Olympic Games, a 16-day extravaganza that marks the first time the City of Lights has hosted the world's preeminent sports festival in a century. In keeping with the slogan for this year's Olympics, Games Wide Open, the opening ceremony will take place outside a stadium setting for the first time. The plans are ambitious, a 3.5 mile boat parade along the scene before as many as 325,000 onlookers on the river's banks. The hundreds of athletic events hosted by dozens of venues across Paris and other cities in metropolitan France will likewise be open to large crowds. Olympics organizers are determined to put on a show that stuns the crowds assembled on the boulevard of Paris, not to mention the millions of people expected to watch the games unfold on their television and mobile devices. If the surge of enthusiasm for the Super Bowl, Taylor Swift, March Madness, and the solar eclipse is any guide, then audiences are craving spectacle, and the Paris games could, ju could be just a ticket. Oh, I can't wait to watch it. I'm going to watch the track and field one, the oh. swing one. I seem like Simone Biles talking about it on the news. Oh, the gymnastics stuff. one. Oh, yeah. Watch it. Wait, is Simone doing the gymnastics this year? I think. I don't know. I don't know either. I thought she, like, retired. If, if she's not, then my sister's going to be mad about it. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, is anyone else watching it other than Tylon? I am. I probably. might. Probably. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Well, now let's check out today's 10-second trivia. What were the first battles between the British Army and the Colonial Militia? Boston and Philadelphia, Lexington and Concord, Concord and Boston, or Lexington and Philadelphia? Lexington and Concord signaled the first battles of the American Revolution. Mm -hmm. 
For our culture today, we're taking, uh, we're talking about a day in history which happened to be very important for us in this country. Today starts the American Revolution. The battles of Lexington and Concord took place April 19, 1775 in the Massachusetts town of Lexington and Concord, marking the start of the American Revolutionary War. The British, led by General Mar Thomas Gage, marched into Lexington and Concord to seize weapons from colonists and suppress the rebellion. The colonists' alarm system summoned local militia companies who, out who outnumbered and outfought the British. The battle began when a British major ordered the militiamen to throw down their arms, but a shot ran out before they could depress, disperse. But it's not. It's, it's not known which side fired first, but it was a straight bullet buzzed across the Lexington Green, and the British responded with a deadly accuracy. The battle resulted in an American victory and the outpouring of militia support for the anti-British cause. It persuaded many Americans to take arms in support of the of independence. We learned about that in Mr. Travis. Thanks, Mr. Travis. We read yeah. about that, Miss Henry. <laughs> I learned about them as clap cues. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go to camp for local. A Seminole County woman was surprised early Tuesday morning after a three-legged bear walked into her Heathrow home. In the video, the bear, nicknamed Tripod by locals, can be seen wandering around some furniture near the patio. Meanwhile, resident Julieta Cuesta took a video of the bear from nearby a window. She said that Tripod came into her home around 4.29 a.m. While she was initially surprised by the encounter, she explained that Tripod left her home just a couple minutes later by ripping through the screened-in porch door. According to Cuesta, this was her first encounter with Tripod, but this isn't the first time he shocked locals in their home. In September, Tripod was reportedly caught on camera stealing White Claw alcoholic seltzers from a Lake Mary family's outdoor fridge. During that incident, the homeowner received an alert from her home security system. Upon checking her camera, she spotted Tripod limping around outdoors. However, Tripod left without much trouble, though only after swiping three white claws and some fish food. <laughs> I'd be scared. That's a cute name. Yeah, I wonder how he lost his leg, though. Maybe it's like, a, like born with it? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, no. Now let's take a look at our worry updates. We want to give a huge shout out to Anwesha Joshi on her second place win in the SCPS Anti-Bullying Contest. Congratulations, Anwesha. If you find yourself in the area, be sure to stop by the Altamont Mall to check out some of our fellow warriors' artwork. The gallery has all different kinds of art on display, including abstract, paintings, portraits, and sculptures. Be sure to stop by and support your fellow warriors. And that's all we have today for our warrior updates. Students, just a reminder to check in for the goals you set for yourself. Don't be afraid to ask for help or tutoring, and be aware that we also have mental health counseling on campus to help when needed. And remember the tardy and cell phone policy. No phones or earbuds during transition, get to class on time, and avoid those tardy sweeps. Remember to like and subscribe to our channel, and stay connected with Sanford Middle on Instagram and Facebook to stay up to date with all SMS news and events. Warriors, remember, you are brave. Believe in your potential, respect your school and community, always do what is right, visualize your success, and engage and excel in learning. That's all we have for today. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time right here on The Break Club. Ta-da! Bye!